perfectly red as well as shiny so i'm literally considering to apply for uncle santa's rudolph position Whoa. You know that feeling when you are on diet and your mom makes a lot of biryanis, keep on making biryanis, you feel irritated and annoyed at your mom. Yeah. <laughs> Let's dip it in. You. When I cry, literally it comes out from here. It's like a freaking Billie Eilish album look. It's not too big, not too small. Hello people, welcome back to my channel. This is Shubhanki. In today's video, I'm so excited for today's video by the way. So excited because today's video, though it says it's a affordable try on haul, but you guys don't know what's in there for today's video. Today's video has got some new launches and a very important product that I'm very, very looking forward to apply, touch, feel how it feels on my face because it's affordable, like really, really affordable as well as from my favorite brand. And on top of that, I haven't found that product anywhere on that website. You guys know I love a little mystery. I found this product on Amazon and boom, let me tell you, this is so pretty aesthetic and heavy duty. Yeah, I shouldn't just like say all these things without showing you guys the product. But for that, you have to like wait. Yeah, I have my trays right over here. I don't want to show you guys everything. That's a tiny, tiny glimpse. Also, I think this is the most affordable video I've ever filmed because all the products for today's video are below 250. I'm so excited since I'm so excited. Let's not waste any further time. And also, by the way, Today is, I don't know when you guys are gonna watch this video. Today, I'm sitting and filming this video. Today is Sharshwati Pujo. So, happy Sharshwati Pujo to all the Bengali people out there. <laughs> Today is going to be so freaking noisy, I know. And, bro, let me tell you, I'm so high on sugar after eating all the prashads. So, maybe that's why my energy level is so high right now. But no, I'm excited for the products, okay? Okay? So, yeah, without any further ado, like, share, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe and let's get started with today's video. So, maybe we do have like four products in this haul, but some of them are multi-purpose. So, that's why we have foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, highlighter and eyeshadow. Six products. So, I mean six uses. So, first of all, we have this guy over here. Now, this is a new launch, a very, very new launch. So, it's from a brand that I don't really try out. I tried this brand when I just started out, like very beginning, two years back. I didn't feel good about this brand. I, I didn't like it to be honest. Just let's just say that their products felt really average. So I was like always a little bit dicey whether to buy this product, whether not to buy this product. <laughs> let's just not build this product up. So this is this product. This is NY based Dewy Drops Liquid Foundation. So this is sort of a new foundation that they came up with. So the price here is $229, but I am very sure that I got it on discount. <laughs> so I think this range has got like seven to eight. Uh, sheds. So I think it's kind of improvement from like literally three to four sheds. Uh, that's so like I get so freaking annoyed and angry when brand comes up with two to three sheds. Like why, why, why do you even have to come up with any product when you like will not be able to cater to all the beautiful gorgeous skin tones of India? I got the shade 01 flat white and I'm literally crossing my finger that it matches. Let's crack this baby open. So this is the bottle. I do like the bottle. By the way, this bottle is heavy. And it's a glass bottle, okay. Uh, glass bottles generally cost more, but this is really cheap. The bottle cap is very flimsy though, plastic inside, but uh, there's a coating outside. So anyway, you don't need so much of deep information, by the way. You just want to know about the product quality. Uh, why am I going so deep into it? There's a stopper, so let me just take it out. My nails will break now. <laughs> You. I literally don't like foundations like this. I, I'm not talking about the product quality, but I'm talking about the packaging system. Like literally you don't have anything to take this product out and whenever you're gonna take this stopper out, you're gonna get foundations all over your fingers. Like literally I did right now. I don't know if you guys know or not, but I've said thousand times on my channel that I do not like to put makeup with my fingers. Shocking, right? Because it's like literally trend now to apply foundation, like slap on foundation. It's it's trend, it's trend. I can see everywhere, everybody is doing this. But I literally, when I see that now, I get so grossed out. I need brushes, sponges. But why? Why? Oh, oh, oh. I was going to do a really blunder today. I did not apply color corrector. I, I forget whenever I talk with you guys. Keep reminding me things, okay? You know, I try to give you guys quality time. That's why I forget everything. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to quickly go and put on some color corrector and then come back to apply this foundation. And also, I need to wash my hand. Yeah. Okay. Hello, people. So, I'm back. And you can see I am done applying color corrector because you can literally see my red sunglasses right now. Okay. So, I want to tell you guys, I am so intelligent because I figured out a way to take out this foundation without even using my beauty fingers which is basically taking out using a nail filer you guys i think know that when makeup artists uses a very expensive fancy looking stainless steel thingy that they put inside the foundation to take it out and just apply it like that and it looks so aesthetic so fancy yeah just consider this as the low budget version of that thing so this is properly properly cleaned and everything no nail dust in there so if you guys like are going to copy my technique please make sure that your nail filer is also clean otherwise you're gonna get pimples by the way 
because that's so unhygienic. I just don't want to talk about it. Anyway, let's dip it in. Oh, it enters. I thought it is going to be too big. I think I have taken out a lot. Wow. I. Uh, <clears throat> it works. Okay, so let's do an aesthetic shot. Ooh. <laughs> This, I think, was a nice, nice idea. I love it. <laughs> Let's blend. Yeah, I was right. This is really thick. I think it has got good coverage, but let's see. Let's see. I don't want to like say it before blending and stuff. <laughs> and also, I don't feel... I don't feel anything on my skin. I was literally red, bro. How come? Also, the foundation match is like so good. I think this is half of my face where I have applied this foundation and I think it looks really even toned to be honest. I have a lot of acne you guys are seeing and recommending me a lot of skincare stuff for my acne scars and all. Since you guys are watching me having a lot of acne breakouts these days and I do appreciate that. But can you guys see it just concealed, covered everything. So I think it started off really good. I'm getting impressed. So I'm, I'm getting really excited now. Okay, hold on. This is medium coverage. I want to say medium to high coverage. Yeah, if I apply another layer, bro, it will be really full coverage. I'm scared now. I don't want to apply full coverage. It's good. You guys follow me, okay? Let's again watch whether this is really full coverage or not. You can see I do have a lot of scars here. And also this is red and a lot of hyperpigmentation everywhere. So let's see whether it can conceal everything. <laughs> it does, guys. It's pretty good. What's the price again? Wait. <laughs> I think I have paid less than 200 for this foundation. Are you kidding me right now? I also think you don't need much to cover up your entire face. How big your face may be, I don't think you need much. I think I have pretty medium sized face. It's not too big, not too small. Why I'm going so off topic now that I started measuring my face shape, face size. I can't believe this. <laughs> Hold on, let me look closely. Yeah, it did conceal everything. It has good, good coverage. I, I don't want to know what will happen if I layer it up. I think I'm obsessed. I think I'm getting obsessed. Okay, that, hold on, hold on. Let me just finish blending my whole face. You know what is the problem with really thick formulas? That it needs a lot of powders to set. So I really want to know how will this set because I don't bake. So I don't know. That is also a major problem with thick formulas. That's why people tend to go for like skin-like finish or brands even make products which are like skin-like. But this is very light on my skin right now. So I can pick that part. I think you guys know I always come closer to review any sort of concealer or foundations coverage under my eyes and this sort of coverage I get after applying concealers. But this time so this foundation is giving this sort of coverage on my under eyes. My smile line is looking fantabulous right now. Now this has impressed me a lot but let's figure out what are the claims of this product. So it says lightweight. I have already told you guys before even seeing the claim that it's lightweight. Now it's comfortable on the skin which is kind of same and it really feels comfortable on my skin like if I do this, 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 this. Yeah, that is probably all the facial movement that I can do with my face and everything feels comfortable right now. Next is it provides full coverage. I told you guys, we have seen that it's like very good coverage. Natural dewy finish. It's not dewy finish guys. I don't think so. If I put powder and set it, it is going to be mad. I don't think this is dewy finish. I have seen a lot more dewy foundation. If you prep your skin well, it will be really glowy. But only because of this foundation. No, my skin is glowy because I have applied a lot of oils and moisturizers before applying this foundation. No. Okay, let's move on to the concealer now. You know what? At the start of the video, I promised myself that I'm going to be very first today because it's, it's such a noisy day that I chose to film this video. But here we are after an hour of filming and only reviewing one single foundation. This is what happens when I talk so much and get so excited. Anyway, so this is a concealer. The next product said that this is a conceal and a conquer liquid concealer from NYB. Now, the what's the price? Okay, so it's 225 on the packaging, but you guys know there's discounts always. What are the claims, people? So it's full coverage. We're gonna see that. It's waterproof. Anyway, by the end of this video, I will cry. So we are going to test out that as well. Do we effect? Okay, quick dry formula, lightweight. Let's see the quick drying formula. And waterproof is a big, big claim because all the products that I have reviewed from inside and uh, Mars, they are not waterproof. Whenever I cry, I could see, literally see the foundation is like melting as the water drop is like flowing down my skin. And by the way, if you guys like think, why are you crying or why are you sad? It's not that. My eyes just pees a lot. She is sensitive. So you go away. Now this, this, this 
पैकेजिंग इज सो गुड आई रियली लाइक द पैकेजिंग इट लुक सो एस्थेटिक बाय द वे यू नो वॉट एन वाई बे इज really improving i feel like if i compare my first impression with this brand like 2 years back and now it's like a hell and heaven difference so it comes with a wand which is like my preferable sort of way of applying concealer using a wand to apply it not like a tube thing oh okay so the shade that i got is 02 vanilla you guys remember the clam ready okay it's kind of thick though so they came up with a thick foundation as well as a thick concealer It says it's full coverage. I hope this is a full coverage because it's thick and it feels like it is going to give you coverage. But I really hope that. Also, I think shade that I have chosen for myself is kind of my original skin color. Like it's kind of matching. I wanted it to be highlighting. Why? Oh God! I thought I aced my online shade choosing skill. Since <laughs> it's a full coverage as claimed, I'm hoping that it will. Cover my deep acne scar. Yeah, I think that's enough. I don't apply more than this. Okay, let's now test the moment of truth. The formula is really thick. It has got good coverage, but is it full coverage? It blends good. Both of them, by the way, the foundation as well as the concealer blends good. And I don't think if you have the foundation, if you are like doing makeup for everyday purpose, I don't think you need concealer to be honest. I don't don't apply uh, concealers for an everyday look. If I apply a really good coverage foundation, I like to have a little bit of discoloration under my eyes. It looks natural, that's why. But it's all your choice how you want to look it's just fun and games makeup is basically fun and games ooh i like that it's so blendable oh my god also it requires so little like so less effort to blend it effortlessly blendable it has got good coverage guys i think it is full coverage to really think it's a full coverage formula i'm just blending everything and making everything look seamless i mean i have so many acne scars these days so many literally you can go back to the start of this video and look at this side now <laughs> I look so flawless. I mean I am flawless, okay? <laughs> But um literally flawless I look. I feel so happy because uh I I chose to this time try out NY Bay after hesitating a little bit but then I thought it's a new launch let's just buy it let's just review it let's just try it out i actually did not need any coverage on my acne scars after applying the foundation but this concealer is cherry on top i feel i think this time in yb for this launch they have really gone like leave everything let's focus on full coverage the formula has to be full full coverage okay <laughs> this was their motive but you know what also i feel like the foundation was so good coverage so if you apply any sort of concealer on top of that it would look flawless as well so I don't know about the concealer. I, I it is good coverage but is it full coverage? Uh, I'm 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 thinking a little bit. I have to think and figure this out at the end of this video. I feel like a jasus. Oh, okay. I did not apply anything here. So let's see its coverage. Hmm. It is good coverage. It's good coverage. And also it feels like skin. It is lightweight. and also the creasing situation i don't see it on my face but i know on the lids it is going to happen because my eyes are so hooded and that i can fix it with powder but also i think there is one thing i figured out that since this is a really thick formula you guys know i have a habit of doing it like putting the concealer on the places and just waiting for a bit before blending it but for this one i have to blend really hard because it got thick and stuck and became so tacky i mean this consistency is what i come up after waiting for the concealer to set for a bit but this concealer is the ready made version of what i get after waiting so i shouldn't have waited for this one what i mean is just blend it otherwise i think it will be a little bit hard to blend and not have like significant amount of blotches but you know what i like it i think i still like it uh, i'm so freaking impressed with the foundation and the concealer i was so excited in the beginning for a particular product and not for this foundation and concealer they like came through but i need to regain my energy and be more excited for the next product because that product is something that i'm so freaking excited to apply on my face since the day it got delivered i was so so excited and looking forward to to apply this with you guys alongside because you know we guys are friends i don't have any powder for this haul so i'm going to do it off camera and and come back for that special thing get excited you guys get excited okay 2000 years later okay so i'm back i took a break actually from filming and stepped my lazy ass out from my room so it's been a long time so i have a lot of things to say about my base i did said i planned of going with a compact powder but actually it didn't work i could see that my foundation and concealer is still like um, It's not set, you guys understand, right? Not set, wala dui formula. So I then went with my uh, favorite loose powder, and uh, yeah, then it finally gave me that set, set wala finish. Uh, and now you can see it looks, it looks good. It, it's set now. And uh, the creasing situation, I told you guys, it is going to crease as well as there are tiny, tiny three to four creasings, and my smile lines are 
no it's intact as well as around the nose my base looks really good really skin like to be honest quite surprising with such thick formula on dry skin you have to make sure that compact is not going to work basically you know i think i have predicted that right in the beginning while applying the formula that it is not going to uh, set with light powder and i think uh, not the foundation the concealer claimed that it's waterproof and you guys know my eyes peace ah. it's cries it's like a tap so uh, i don't know you guys can see or not there is like a water mark right here since my eyes are so sensitive and when i wear lenses like not watery watery like one to two drops of water it comes out or even touch my eyes that happens so i applied foundation and concealer so i touched my eyes there's like a little tiny drop that came out from here and i hope you can see can you see that with my hd quality camera there is a little watermark but the ma main thing is that i think it's waterproof because uh, when it's like inside or mars foundations or anything and when i cry literally it comes out from here it's like a freaking billy eilish album look ah. fortunately that did not happen this watermark will be there so if i tap it like this and also since i said it so there will be i think watermark because there's powder there's foundation so it's kind of mixture of things and on top of that there's water coming out you can't also see it this is so minute but this is what you see in real life the watermarks did not make any further marks while like flowing though it was like a tiny one drop this thing this situation does not like make it very clear that this is waterproof but this is like a at least a step Closer towards proving waterproof. I hope that makes sense. You guys still holding your excitement, right? Ah. Let me introduce without any 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 more build up. I don't want to build up. I freaking want to show this product to you guys. I'm so excited. So this product is from my favorite brand, one of my favorite brand. But this product, like, I don't know what happens. I only I think come across this kind of weird, mysterious situations. This product is available nowhere. Like, there's no ata pata only of this product on Mars website. Yeah, the brand is Mars. This product, however, is like right there on Amazon, and I came across it, and it looks really good. And in real life, to be honest, it looks really good. You know what? I think this product. looks better in real life than the picture that is there on the app when i got it i was like wow it's big and oh my god it feels so luxurious and the swatch i did swatch offline obviously if i say that i'm going to swatch now please don't believe that all makeup holds swatch off camera when the product get delivered they cannot hold their excitement okay most obvious fact let me just show you guys why i'm talking so much so this is the product Ta -da -da. i love this product so this is basically a cheek palette there's bronzer there's highlighter and there's blush not peach blush but it's a coral blush which is i'm into this day this is freaking big okay this is big it's my hand size and it's heavy they have three shades i got the third one because i like this three combo now the mrp is 259 but i i remember i have paid lesser it was on discount but also i don't know why they charge separately for delivery i think 74 rupees sort of they have charged for delivery i don't know why but i did pay the delivery charge because it was on discount and with delivery charge it was i think kind of near to this mrp only so i thought let's just pay it and it looked so promising let me just show you guys okay so let me just open this one so the packaging is very similar to their uh, eye shadow range i mean i shadow that i don't like i belong in your purse that range it looks so like it's the exact same thing it's the exact same range it's a cheek palette as you guys can see the palette is bigger than the eye shadow palettes are you guys ready to see what's inside i'm so excited you guys i'm so excited okay okay so the inside of this palette basically looks like Ta-da! Can you just see that? Just appreciate this beauty. Let's just take a minute to appreciate this this golden lining. That is freaking awesome. I love it. Let me swatch it. Look at that. Look at that pigment. That is so pretty. Wow. That is blinding. This is so freaking pigmented. Oh my god. I mean, I love it. Enough talk. Let's see how it looks on my face. And also it comes with a really really big mirror. I think there's a protective layer. Let's just take that out. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out. Okay, ready? Whoa! Wait, it's big. Wait, wait. Whoa! So freaking satisfying. So this is a big mirror. Okay, hi. <laughs> no more distraction, Shubhangi. Let's now finally apply this. Okay, so let's start with the bronzer. Okay, I can see the pigment. Ooh, it's blending good. I really like the bronzer color. It's it's just it's really good. It's a like everyday sort of a bronzer color for me it's not too dark not too light that it won't show up it's the right i mean i'm not going to look too chiseled anyway i can't be too chiseled i i can't look like kim k when i step out i mean that's too much for me and this is the perfect thing and also it feels really good oh it looks really natural on my face let me just stack up a little bit nice oh i like it oh i can also contour with this one because this is not too warm since i don't have bronzer over here uh the blush effect will be more clear so let's apply blush first here I'm going to saturate my brush <laughs> oh, no. why did i do that i'm scared this is so pigmented guys are you kidding me okay i'm going to be very light i don't want to be jamato like my last video wow this is too pigmented and i think that's kind of good for me in some kind of weird way weird blush fetish i have <laughs> <laughs> 
this looks really really good should i apply this whatever left on my brush should i do it should i be so daring <laughs> this is a different shade i usually go for peachy orangey but this is like coral pinkish reddish new year new me i like this palette this is a really good palette i like how subtly pretty it is this powders are really blendable it is not patchy blotchy or anything it's blending really good and it's taking so little time wow i, I literally my nose looks like rudolph the red nose reindeer so way too much blush kids don't do it i think i'm going for a e girl sort of a makeup look i actually tell all the time when i put a lot of blushes i'm going for a e girl makeup look yeah that's my escape strategy i think i'm going to apply highlighter with my hand just to see the effect by the way all the shades feel so buttery on my fingers when i'm swatching it oh it's a pretty shade it's a champagne shade and champagne sort of highlighter looks best on my skin tone i can literally see the light reflection it's blinding i need to tone that down oh my god what i'm doing in this video i'm putting everything too much ooh that is really great highlighter oh my god this is going to be my everyday highlighter from now it's so good and so effortlessly glued i mean i don't have to put tons of layers it's like one to two layers and you are good to go has a very shiny no yeah perfectly red as well as shiny so i'm literally considering to apply for uncle santa's rudolph position so the bronzer the blush the highlighter were really good i really like this palette now the last product is a product i mean i wanted to have this product it's a nyb product i wanted to buy it long time back because one of a really big youtuber influencer recommended it that it's it's a really good product she loves it so i thought hmm let me just try out the formula and it's very cheap but then i was never like impressed with the packaging or even the product itself yeah. obviously through the app so i never ended up buying it personally but this time i bought a lot of things from purple the haul is coming i got a lot of products so purple thought yeah let's just put something on her basket as free products yeah. and i got this as free then i thought wow i wanted to buy it long time back didn't buy it i got it now free i had to try it out on camera so basically <laughs> the product that i was talking about is this one so this is nyb is blinking eyeshadow basically it's a single eyeshadow this one i got the shade carnage hall i don't think i have ever tried nyb's any kind of shadow so it's very new for me this looks i mean on the pan it looks shimmery as well as by the way this whole packet is cardboard it costed around uh, i don't remember exactly because it's a free product to be honest no talking let's swatch it oh it feels buttery on my fingers it's it's a foil sort of shadow it's not a matte shadow it will give a luminous effect it's not matte but it's not glittery okay let me swatch it here wow of course this is pigmented but i mean all foil shadows are really pigmented like it's their character it is going to be pigmented let's see how this foil shadow applies on my lids using a brush then i'm going to tell you guys anything about it i think the swatch was really good i have started applying the product using a very very flat brush as you guys can see and just stamping on the products on my lids later i'm going to blend it on the crease area but as soon as it's applying and transferring on my lids using this brush really good i really like the quality right now can you see it's applying very good i don't actually apply like a whole shimmer foil shadow on my lids this is the first time i always use matte before that like apply a base sort of a thing and then apply a shimmer so i'm going to now blend it as far as it's looking <laughs> really non blended checking a little more and now i'm going to start blending the crease area it's blending really nicely i mean it's not taking too much of time it's blending really good really quickly and seamlessly and there is no patches or anything i really like the quality to be honest it's not that expensive i mean it's too cheap it's really blending well and sheering out at the edge yeah that's a nice nice blend I think I really like this monochrome sort of look. It's turning really monochrome. So we are all done with all the products. Let's now put on some lashes and come back to give you guys the final verdict. This part is going to be really important, so stay tuned. I'll tell you guys whether do you guys need this in your life or you can just like just just skip it. Stay tuned. So I'm back with full face of makeup. It's been like an more than an hour now that I have my face base makeup on. So I have figured out a lot of things by looking up close. Uh, so yeah let's start quickly so the first product was an ny base dv drop liquid foundation in the shade uh one flat white the formula is really really thick you guys have seen it for a foundation i think it's really thick some of my concealers which is supposed to be thick are not that thick as this foundation so it says lightweight my face doesn't feel like too sticky i think other than my eyelashes nothing feels heavy on my face yeah i would say it is comfortable on the skin it says it's full coverage so i would say it's near to high coverage because i have freaking a lot of acne marks lot of hyperpigmentation even my dark circles were there literally it has like concealed a lot of my dark circles now natural dewy finish i have a little bit <coughs> to this point because it's i mean it's not natural though natural is subjective i don't feel it's natural i mean 
you have a full face high coverage base on how can it be natural like, can i step out with this yeah i can but i think i'm never gonna pair this foundation with this concealer i would apply either one of them both of them makes my face too like too thick and i have to apply a lot of powder i mean is it good is it pretty yeah definitely it is but is it convenient definitely no hell no like <laughs> freaking how am i going to apply this i had a really great problem figuring that out but i really don't want to like not recommend this product because of how inconvenient it is while applying because it's not a bad product obviously the quality is good i'm going to tell you guys how i feel right now i mean you know that feeling when you are on diet and your mom makes a lot of biryani keep on making biryani you feel irritated and annoyed at your mom yeah <laughs> such a bad example <laughs> i love my mom by the way <laughs> yeah you feel that irritating annoyed kind of feeling on your gut yeah that is what i'm feeling because i want to recommend but how inconvenient this is so yeah you have to apply that noble winning trick that i apply if i do this it is not going to come out because this is so thick this is not a dewy drop liquid foundation as it says you keep on hitting your hand like this nothing will come out only i think your hand bone will break for dry skin like me i do like a good thick formula but it's too thick for me as well i have to apply a lot of lot of powder to actually set set so i think this is going to be really good for oily skin people like really really good i'm not saying it's bad for dry skin i literally feel good in it but if i go out i'm going to spend more than 5 hours so can i be with this foundation for as long as that uh, i don't think i can because uh, then after certain time this formula is so thick and i'm going to apply so much of powder it is going to crumble up a little bit or separate out a little bit because my skin is dry and never produces oil on its own for oily skin people it is going to be the foundation i feel it's so good coverage no for extremely dry skin people but for dry skin people i would say just try it out if you like it you can use this now the next product is ny base concealer it's a conceal and conquer the shade is uh, 02 vanilla it uh, claims that it's a full coverage now i do think that it has covered way too much it's a thick concealer to be honest i think the foundation is thicker than the concealer and i don't know why i think i'm going to make use of this concealer way more than this foundation it gives dewy effect uh, i don't think it gives dewy effect to be honest it gives kind of soft matte finish to my opinion quick dry formula i have literally told you guys that i shouldn't have wait for the concealer to wait for a bit i i did that and it was like sticking so it's a quick dry formula totally going to agree with this claim now waterproof is a claim which is really a big claim i don't think it washes off with water if i like start crying like i don't think this foundation this concealer will hold but if there is like here and there one to two drops of water i think it is going to be okay though my eyes watered a little bit but i don't think that's a like full proof way to explain that this is waterproof so i'm a little dicey with that claim but anyway this is a good one i really going to recommend this to every people like for dry skin as well as oily skin like this is a really i think all types of skin sort of a concealer now now let's talk about the product that i was so excited about so tada okay so this is a really really good handy cheek palette from mars i i really like it because well the packaging i think for every mars product they have like nailed is the packaging when you're going to have this on your hand it is going to make you feel so happy no cap bro i'm i'm just telling you guys this is such a great packaging wala palette i really love it now let's come to the product quality because that is what matters the most important thing that i really like about the quality of the product is they are going to give you guys really good natural finish i mean they are pigmented they are well blendable but like a single patch of color won't like give you guys like too much of pigment that it will be really difficult for you guys to blend they are super good with blending the formula i really like the formula i am going to use this every day uh, for bronzer for blush and for highlighter this is the palette i think i'm going to for sure recommend like get this one if you want to guess anything like literally anything from this haul get this one please because this is so good 10 on 10 going to recommend this product i belong in your purse is going to belong in my purse damn sure so we are finally to the last product so this is the eyeshadow single eyeshadow palette from ny bay in the shade carnage haul now i do like the quality of the product to be honest it's really blendable for a foil shadow it has the right amount of pigment as a foil shadow does and uh, it really looks good on my skin uh, on my lids basically and it blended really good around the crease line i really like it if you want a uh, like foil sort of eyeshadow this is a eyeshadow you can go for i mean this range you can go for pick the color that you want so you are finally at the end of today's video i hope you have enjoyed today's video all the products will be linked in the description box for you guys to check out if you have find this video helpful don't forget to you know the real like share comment subscribe yeah yeah click the subscribe button it's just right below right below my face just just press the red subscribe button so that you guys can see my face like my beautiful face whenever i post a new video and with that being said i'm going to go now i'll meet you guys in my next video until then be happy and bye <sighs> mummy is making khichdi okay bye Ooh, i'm on the side to the side She keep coming at me every day and night yeah.